Welcome back. 514 right now. Today we wrap up our series on blue collar jobs here in the low country with a story you will only see on News 2. When it comes to skilled labor, perhaps no skill may be more valued than welding. News 2's Colby Thielen found out that the demand is reaching those not typically found in the industry and joins us now live with the final edition of his blue collar series. Colby. Hey, good morning. Well, nearly everything that we use requires some kind of welding. It includes the TV that you're watching this very moment. Welders say they need more people trained in this field than ever, but it's one historically eclipsed by men. So we were curious about the need there is for women. And it turns out there is one, and it's growing every day. We caught up with two women studying to become welders at Trident Tech, who say they have big plans. Behind the torch and hood, it's where Davina Cantrell feels at home. It was an interest sparked while working part-time on a construction site. It turns out I really liked it and I really enjoyed working in that environment with a lot of hard work, a lot of walking around, a lot of labor. She changed her major immediately and signed up for a future in heavy metal. I want to end up traveling, mostly working on construction sites, steel erection, and then eventually I want to move on to pipelining. After finishing this program at Trident Tech, she'll have skills in a number of specialties even robotics welding. That's one of the, the driving points behind a lot of students coming into the program. They, they have the, the understanding, hey, can I make a lot of money? And the answer is absolutely we can. It's a skill that fewer people are learning, meaning demand is growing. Everything that you do, every, every aspect, everything that you look at, it's most likely going to involve welding in it. And the call to join is reaching a growing number of women despite the industry traditionally being dominated by men. What does it mean for you to have a skill that very few people have? I'm never going to run out of a job. Gabrielle Venturini began welding to help out around the family farm. She discovered she had a knack for it. It definitely comes with its challenges, its ups and downs, um, but ultimately it's what I, like where I want to be. She admits that being a female in the industry can draw criticism from some, but her dreams are too big to get bogged down by comparison. Don't worry about how the guys are doing. Just always worry about being the best in the class. I've already been across the state with it and out of the country, so um, there's like endless possibilities. Both Cantrell and Venturini say they want to travel as welders, and those on the road can make 40 to 50 bucks wow. an hour. And as far as pipelines go, you can make up to $250,000 a year. Wow. Yeah. Yes, Colby, girl yeah. power. It's, it's exactly Love right. It. And you know, when it comes <laughs> to diversity, we were talking to the instructor, and he said that it's almost an, it's an art form. It's a connection between mm -hmm. you and the metal. So every bit of diversity brings something different to the table. And he was saying a lot of times with, with women, they're a little bit more patient than men. So he said that a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> so he says what happens is their mm -hmm. welds a lot of times are, are actually cleaner. And, and a lot nicer. So there's definitely a need no for it out there. Yeah. Good stuff. Ladies, listen up. Yeah, that's right. Love it, right. Kobe. Great job. Right. All right. For a recap of all the jobs covered this week, head on over to our website, countonto.com.